always keep up with us first thing you should do hit the subscription button and share my stories this is the only channel where you get stories about life and educative educative topics this time around we're going to discuss about music music in uganda music in east africa why is our music not growing what is affecting us we are powered by beef organics for all your natural health care products you can visit beef organic on all our social platforms even the number is there as i told you that i reside in uganda uganda is located in east africa a small country we are still in the third world however we are so talented just in my country we have over 100,000 musicians or artists who are practicing from an amateur level to a professional level however we we almost don't have international acts most of the biggest artists we are having in my country i think is eddie kenzo he is not too much known on the international scene maybe we can have the the, the biggest brand we're having in uganda is called that the the triple skater kicks those young ones but why is that africa and uganda my country or east africa where i come from our music is still lagging behind why is that we're not growing at a very fast speed why is it that nigerians are beating us i'm gonna get south africans are far away in music and other continents so for us in africa our problems are special <laughs> as i told that africa as a continent is a special continent in this world we have our different problems we have a different color of people so africa as the poorest continent in the world we are affected by so many things what can we do to improve africa what can we do to make it grow bigger to shine on the world however you're trying to shine out but many things are still affecting us our music industry africa has different genres of music we have afrobeat i think it's the most trending currently from nigeria we have those ones in south africa who are having what we call a piano yes it's also trending uh we do some dancehall which we imported from jamaica we have our local uh, types of music locally for example in uganda here we have kadongo come what you call country music the tanzanians have what you call tarab music uh, that arabic sound uh the kenyans have what you call and tanzania they have bongo flavor uh, so different countries in africa here are having different genres of sounds and music but what are our problems the biggest problem in africa which is affecting our music is copyright infringement and intellectual property copyright is disturbing us africa is the only i think is the only continent where copyright is not considered to be serious yes a lot of plagiarism and piracy in our works is not respected very many of our musicians do music but they end up not earning from it copyright infringement means either not earning from your works or earning small so uh, the copyright laws are there in the countries where we reside. even in my country the copyright is there but the problem is uh in, 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 you know inserting it so that it can work out enforcing it uh, my government is not enforcing the laws so, so the law is there but people are using people other people's works the way they want so this has caused uh, the loss of lots of money people are not getting money from what we are doing and artists ending up becoming poor growing old with nothing in this world though for the whites and the people from other continents someone just do, does only one song and becomes rich for the days of his life but here we have to do a lot and earn a little from our works so copyright is disturbing music in africa we request on our governments in different countries to make sure they focus on that issue of intellectual property so that these creators are protected with what they are doing and we have a problem of uh, government censorships uh, different country, different governments in different countries uh, are always disturbing musicians and creators a lot of censorship in the work for example if you go in tanzania the government controls almost 70 percent of the music on the market so you have to do music in the line with the government interests so if your government is not is not supportive enough or they're having their own issues of dictatorial tendencies then you may not be able to succeed with your music so that is disturbing people 
or creatives in Africa. You have to do things which are in the line with your government. And you know, most of our governments in Africa, <laughs> they are dictators, dictatorial, they're not giving rights to people to do what they want to do. So that is it. Uh, we have a problem of culture. Uh, I don't I don't want to call it a problem, but culture is also affecting us. Since in Africa we have a diversity of culture. For example, in Uganda we have over 50 diversity of cultures, different culture groups. So each culture has its own norms and a perspective about music. So this can affect the creative mind or what they're gonna do. And then uh, we have a problem of capital, lack of enough capital. Uh, capital is a, is a bigger thing. That is money. Yes, you know, anything concerning production moves with money, starting from the gadgets you want, the materials you're going to use in production, studio, microphone, everything, cameras, you need money. So African economies are poor, people in Africa are poor, most of them, governments are not supporting, so we are not able to do music which resonates with the world standard. That's why we end up having uh, poor music sounds, uh, you know, our sounds just stop in our country, then we go far. That's why you see we don't have bigger musicians coming from a country, Ghana, coming from my region, East Africa, and Africa. Yes. Uh, we have a problem of uh, the internet. Uh, the world is moving to high speed, to 5G. But in Africa, most of our countries are still doing 3G, 3G, 2G. Those ones who have managed to move are on 4G. Very few areas where you find 5 plus or 4G plus. So, due to this issue, we are not able to stream. You know, these days, money is online via streaming, downloading, and uploads. So, since we have expensive and affordable internet, the internet is expensive, not affordable, sometimes even not available <laughs> in areas. So, we end up not having enough streams, not getting really enough quality. So, you know, this era of digital, more views, more streams, more money. So we are being affected because of that. People don't have the, the internet, we don't access it. In some countries, it's so expensive. So you end up doing your work, uploading it on the internet, no one is watching it. So how will you get the money? So our governments need to look in that and we see. There is a problem, uh, an issue of uh, competition, a lot of competition. Since we have a diversified culture, we have very many people creating from different sorts of corners. That has caused a very big competition towards our music. You see, uh, Ugandan music, East African music is competing with the West African music. Afrobeat is taking over. I'm a piano from South Africa is battling with the rap music from the North. So, a lot of com competition has also caused a problem to our music. That's why you see things are not moving on well. The market. Lack of enough market. We have a very small market scope. For example, in my country, Uganda, uh, the consumption of music is very low. People are poor. They don't have money at hand to disband. People don't go to concerts. Uh, people don't buy music online. Yes, in the case in other countries. For example, people in uh, other co continents they buy music, they support the music. But here in, in our continent, Africa, the rate at which we are buying music is very small. Someone can't be lacking food and you expect him to buy music. You first focus on the food and eat. That's all caused because of the poverty we are having in our country. So the market scope is small. Uh, record labels, which, which would help us to buy the music, the record labels are very few in Africa. You can find like 10 or 15 only international record labels operating in Africa and they're giving us a very little share of money. So this has reduced on our production. It has affected the music to grow and cross over the world. Uh, we have issues like media wars. Yes, uh, media wars and inadequate media in our country. We have fewer radio stations, fewer TV stations, which can push our music. Many countries are not having good media sector which can help in pushing the music to the world. So we end up being affected by that. So our music is not growing to a very good speed because of that.
uh, we lack record labels, proper record labels. The Universal Records, uh, Wanda Music, and others. I think in, in, in Africa they have few branches. But if you go to other continents, record labels are everywhere. Record labels operate at full capacity. But that's not the case in our Africa here, in our Uganda. Record labels are not, are not performing the way we expect them to do it. So all those factors are hindering the development and growth of music in Africa. Yet, yet Africa is having very many talented people. We have another issue of language. Uh, I think Africa is the is that one one continent with the most the biggest numbers of languages. So, being that we're having a lot of languages in our continent, uh, the communication is not effective enough. Whereby one region is speaking another language, in only one country you find over sixty tribes. So, how will you guys communicate? You can't sing all the tribes. So, yet in those other continents, people are using fewer languages, which can ease in communication. So in Africa here, very many tribes, that's a very big problem affecting the music, because you won't be able to sing for everyone. You'll have to sing for the community you're coming from. So uh, that's also affecting us, but we are proud of our culture and the tribes you're having, because yeah, that's also a plus to us as the people who come from this region. So, uh, music, and music is like a drug, you have to enjoy music. So, whoever comes across any art from Africa, make sure you share our art. Make sure you spread it, spread the love, so that our music can grow. I'm happy to see that some of our musicians are becoming big. I think for the last two, two to three years, uh, the African music has been the one trending in the whole world. The Banner Boys, the Davidos, the Wiz Kids, they are doing the best for Africa. You see, they are the ones filling the stadiums in those uh, big countries. So, uh, we are happy for that. Let's hope that what these Davidos have achieved, the Diamonds have achieved, and others also can achieve the same in Africa here. But we can all do that after us getting the good and nice policies from our leaders and from our governments. So, that is it. Thank you so much, guys. Keep subscribing as we try to express our stories.